So, less than a week out before leaving for the Morocco trip. And um, we've had a terrible weather for the past almost week. Rain and we still have some high wind. But uh, before I pack my stuff up, I have to get my knolling shot. That's the key to all bicycle touring is you never start a trip without a quality knolling shot. too excited now um, the truck is loaded rental truck driving down to Miami for my flight to Casablanca I should be there in less than 24 hours hopefully the bike makes it the trailer makes it the surfboard makes it and my Morocco bicycle touring surfari will officially be kicking off morning this is the start of my first full day here in Morocco I'm in Casablanca um, I'm in a nice hotel room it was only 40 a night and I chose it because they advertised um, luggage storage and sure enough they said they can watch my bike boxes for me so I'm uh, gonna put the bike together today the trailer everything and then I'm on the fifth floor and they're it's not going to fit in the elevator, so I don't know. Um, I guess I'll walk it down the steps. I don't know. It's a mess now. I need to get organized, and um, if everything goes as planned, I'll be out of here tomorrow heading south. All right. It's about to start. We're going to head out there. The call to prayer is always so haunting. Like a siren. Like, come pray. Come pray for the hop. Good morning. It's cold. I left uh, Casablanca a couple hours ago trying to beat, beat the morning traffic, and uh, it's been pretty good so far. But um, I'm at the coast, and the surf is so epic. Um, and this is just regular beach break, and it's, this is gonna be amazing. It's like, um, probably hard to see on the phone, but it looks like this left out there, just reeling off that point. So, um, so you know, I don't have much of a set schedule. I wanna go check that out. It might, um, it might be worth the surf. All right, here comes another set. This thing's just peeling, man. Look at this. Oh, ho, 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 ho. it's like just ahead. Just peeling. Man, it looks it looks really good, but um, there are some guys that you guys passed me with boards. Going further out on the point, so I'm gonna go try and follow them. There's no one on this, so it's hard to believe there's something better, but I'm gonna go check it out. Here's the deal. There's a wall blocking the beach. 
And there's dudes with surfboards going up and down this road, but I can't see where they're turning off. I can't tell if they're, which direction they're going, so. I'm just gonna keep pushing forward. There's, um, there's a nice peak out there. There's a handful of guys on it. It looks so freaking awesome, but um, there's no businesses or anywhere to watch my bike, and the closest hotel is a half mile away. So I'm gonna have to dis I think I'm just gonna keep moving. I mean, I'm gonna watch this next set, and maybe I'll go get the hotel and set up camp here. But we'll find out soon. It's a bomb and nobody's on it. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. All right, so it's only 10.30 in the morning. There's no hotels here. I'm just gonna keep moving. It's hard though, there's, there's just so much surf. I, I, I don't think it's gonna be a problem. Um, and I have six weeks, so. Man, it's, it looks so insanely epic out there right now. Oh. If I, oh, there's a left point right up here, too. Oh, man. If I see a hotel, I'm probably going to stop. Preview. So this woman told me to sit tight, and she went to go get me something to eat, and here she comes. chunk of meat on the bottom. That's a pleasant surprise. I thought I was having a potato. Good morning everyone. So yesterday I ended up doing about 70 miles to this town, El Jadida, and uh, I got a room and Got another early start today and plan to do another 50 miles to this town that has about a dozen surf breaks. Um, the forecast for the next few days on the waves is just ridiculous. Good swell, good wind. So I'm either going to get a campground there or a hotel and uh, just settle in and um, surf for a few days. Once I get a dip in the swell then I'll start heading south again. But uh, no, that's the plan. I mean, it's really impressive out there now. These waves, I think they had today at nine, 10 foot, and it shows. Uh, they're calling for like a 16 foot day next week. That's gonna be crazy. I don't think I'll be out in that. But beautiful, 
just this coastline. It's beautiful. Look at this left behind me, reeling. I'm talking. Oh, look out. I wonder, can you guys see that left? Oh, just peeling. How are you guys? Hey. Bonjour. Bonjour. You guys surfers? Hey. Surfers? Yeah. All right. Big wave. Good. Oh, yeah. How you doing, so you make sure. 生活的节奏感觉一点不会累30 in the afternoon, that means it's Tajine time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Got some food. Now I just got to make it another 12 miles and I'll get my hotel room and call it a day. I'm tired. It's hot, I forgot sunblock. Ugh. Hey! Good morning. So, my bike is locked in the hotel garage. And um, I need to go check the surf and make a decision. And it's, I think it's gonna be about a 20 minute, 30 minute walk. So I'm just gonna huff it over there, try and get there before sunrise and make the call. Um, I'd like to get a surf, but then again, I'm like 38 miles from what is guaranteed, like just the beginning of the Morocco, you know, premier surf area so um plus there's a restaurant under this room that <laughs> I, was, I got up at one point was jumping up and down on the floor for them to be quiet and it's a concrete floor so i know they couldn't even hear me i was in some half sleep <laughs> delirium i don't know what an asshole um anyway i'm gonna go check the surf it's definitely swell here, but um, man, it looks crazy sketchy. Um, the wave that I was looking for is a, it's a surf school wave, and um, the way it works, there's a lagoon, and so it breaks from that, comes from the outside, there's a keyhole in the lagoon, goes through, cleans up. And I'm looking at it, and it looks like, um, you know, a typical whitewater surf school wave. And um, I'm not feeling very compelled to go surf that. And then anything on the outside here looks way, way, way too sketchy. There's just huge boils. It's a really super rocky coastline. Just getting out there doesn't seem like a good idea. But there was a guy yesterday that told me there's a beachy like a mile down. So I'm gonna jog down there, check that out, and um, make the call. Over here is the beach that the fisherman was talking about. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty rocky as far as beaches go. Um, there is a left. There's also a nice fall. I mean, look at this set. It's, uh, I don't see how to get out there. 
It is freaking huge too. Um, not something that I'm gonna solo, so the search for waves continues. <laughs>